This patient was referred because of diplopia following bilateral thalamic and mesencephalic stroke. And as you can see, I'm testing his saccades to the left. He's able to move his eye to the left and right voluntarily. And I'm asking him to look up here. He's able to look up with the right eye, elevate the right eye. And here I'm asking him to look down and he's not able to infraduct either eye. So he has vertical one and a half syndrome with the only intact movement being the elevation of the right eye. Using the doll's head maneuver here, I'm not able to overcome this in down gaze, but I'm able to partially overcome it in up gaze, which suggests a supranuclear origin of this motility problem.